You know that a water softener needs to regenerate or clean itself regularly to make sure it keeps softening the water for your family. But typically, they regenerate in the middle of the night. So how do you know it's regenerating? Maybe lately you've noticed some signs of some scale buildup and some other signs of hard water and you're wondering, hey, I haven't heard the water softener regenerate for a while. I used to hear it all the time before. How can you test your water softener to make sure it's regenerating automatically? Relax. I'm going to show you right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Now, whether you're a do-it-yourself homeowner, a plumber, or water filtration specialist, this video is for you. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to determine if your water softener is regenerating automatically or not. I also encourage you to watch this video right to the very end, because I'll have some great next steps if your water softener isn't regenerating automatically. It would be easier to understand this video if you know how a water softener works. If you're not 100% sure, check out my video. I've got a link in the description down below. Now, whether your water softener is a time clock water softener or a metered water softener like this one here, it needs to know when to regenerate. So two things have to be in place for that. The current time has to be correct and the regeneration time has to be when you want it to regenerate. Normally we have them regenerate at a time when there's very low water usage in the home. That's why the default is typically 2 a.m. But of course at 2 a.m. you're not up so you can't hear it regenerating. So there's a couple ways how you can check it out. So the first way to check that out is to do a manual regeneration. So start a regeneration right now to make sure it's going through all of those cycles. So to do that, all you do is press the regen button, hold it down for five seconds, and the valve will automatically start up. And then as it gets to each cycle, you can see the time start counting down. And it will automatically go through each of the four or five regeneration cycles. If you want to fast forward through those cycles, you just push the regen button again. And that'll fast forward it. Now you can't start the fast forwarding until the timer starts counting down when it gets to each cycle. But that still doesn't tell us if the water softener is regenerating at its 2 a.m. regen time as it should automatically. So we need to test that out. To do that, we need to temporarily change some settings. Now, one thing to bear in mind, a water softener doesn't regenerate every day at 2 a.m. or its default or whatever time it's set to regenerate for, just when it needs to. So our Hume water softeners here, they indicate when it's going to regenerate. And they do that by showing regen today in the top left-hand corner. So I'm going to uh, set it for that. So regen today, so you can see that's displayed there. So now the current time is 7.24 p.m. So we need to make sure the time, the current time is correct. And then we need to change the regeneration time to a little bit after that. And then we can um, watch it to see when, if it actually does regenerate automatically. All right, so you press the next and the up button together. The screen changes to the hardness. We don't want to change that, so we press next. And then days override 14, we press next. So now this is the regen time. So we're going to set it for 7.27 p.m., a few minutes after the current time, to see if it automatically regenerates. All right. So we use the up arrow to go to 7, oops, 7, and make sure you're keeping in, in you're looking at the top right-hand corner, that's p.m., okay, and then next, and then we're going to go uh, 27, Twenty-seven. Next. Okay, so now it's showing the current time is 725. It's showing regen today. That's important. That that's flashing there. And at 727, we're going to see if it goes automatically by itself. So now we wait. And wait. And there it goes. So now it'll go through its cycles. So at least it's telling us now that whatever time it's programmed for, it automatically regenerates at that regeneration time. So then the next step is that you would go back and change it back to the default time. Now you'll have to fast forward through the different cycles to be able to make those changes. And again, we push the regen button as it starts counting down to fast forward.
And then to reset the regen time, you go up and next, 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 until you get the regen time. And you can go arrow up. Again, be careful of the AM and the PM. Two, next, is down to... Next. And you're back to the time. If you still have concerns about your water softener, I've got a great troubleshooting video. Click over here and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below.